recording. Okay. A symmetrical eye section with size of top and bottom flange 500 by 200 mm and width 150 by 600 mm is used to support an imposed load of 15 kilonewton per meter. 15 kilonewton per meter over a span of 16 meter foot top and effect to pre force of 1250 kilonewton is applied through a parabolic cable with an eccentricity of 90 mm from the soffit at the mid span and zero at the supports. So soffit means it is from the bottom side. Okay, so meaning of soffit it is the cable profile it is provided from the soffit of the section. Okay, so at mid span and zero at the supports. Okay. First off, calculate the extreme fiber stresses in the cross section at mid span at transfer and service load. Take loss ratio it is 0.82. Okay. So first of all, you draw the cross section of B. Okay. So this one it is symmetrical I section. Okay. The section of beam it is symmetrical I section. Okay. I am drawing here. Cross section of beam here. Okay. Top and bottom flange dimension it is given same. Okay. Top and bottom flange of beam size it is given same. So this one it is cross section of B. Okay. So top flange, top flange means. So this one it is top flange. So width it is given 500 mm. Width it is given 500 mm. Okay. And depth it is given 200 mm. So this one it is top flange. The so same dimension it is given for bottom flange also. Okay. Because of it is symmetrical eye section okay this one it is symmetrical eye section 500 into 200 okay so this one it is dimension of this beam okay and second one it is given website dimension okay so website dimension it is 150 mm means this website it is this depth it, width it is 150 mm 150 mm 150 mm okay 150 mm and this depth it is given 600 depth of width okay it is given 600 mm 600 mm okay so first of all you calculate the cross sectional area of this beam cross sectional area of this beam capital a is equal to okay Calculate the cross sectional area of this beam. So these are the two flanges. So 2 into 500 into the dimension of flanges, it is same top and bottom. Then plus web size dimension, it is 150 into 600 mm. So we'll get the cross sectional area of beam. Okay. So how much this one cross sectional area of beam? Tell me 2 into 500 into 200 plus. So this one it is 150 mm. This one it is 150 mm. Okay. Plus 150 into 600. So how much this one? Anybody have done calculation? 290 into 10. 290 into 10 raised to 3. 10 raised to 3 is mm square. Okay. So you got this one cross sectional area of beam. Okay. So now you tell me the how much y bar 
for this section anybody know y bar of this section how much so this one it is symmetrical section symmetrical means symmetrical means if you fold it it is in x and y direction it should be overlap totally means directly it is half of this okay so how much total depth this 200 plus 600 plus 200 so how much 6 600 plus 200 800 plus 200 1000 so it will be get 1000 by 2 it will be get 1000 by 2 because of symmetrical section you will get the direct divided by 2 okay divided by 2. So it will be 500 m. So y bar of this i section, symmetrical i section, it is 500 m. Okay. 500 m. Okay. 500 m. 500 m. Are you getting my point, student? Now you find out. Find out. Eccentricity. Eccentricity. Okay. So now we need to find out the eccentricity of this grid. Eccentricity. Okay. Eccentricity. See here. In example, what they explain. See here. An effect two. See here. An effect two. Prestacing force of. 1 to 5 0 kilo newton is applied to a parabolic cable with an eccentricity of 90 mm from the socket of the beam means the position of cable it is given 90 mm from the socket of the beam socket means socket means it is from bottom side okay socket means this one from the bottom side so this one it is socket okay socket means it is from Okay, so it means I came from the bottom side. Don't know why students are joining too late. Hmm. Student join late for it. Oh, yes, it's just all on a day. So this one it is position of cable wire. Okay. So it is 90 mm from the socket of this bit. Okay, 90 mm. Okay, so this one it is 90 mm. Okay, so now eccentricity is measured from the neutral axis to the position of cable. Okay, position of cable means how you will get this eccentricity means y bar 500 minus this 90 mm. We will get the eccentricity of eccentricity of this prestacing force are you getting my point student see here so this neutral axis from the bottom side it is 500 mm okay so this it is from bottom side it is, this distance it is 500 okay so eccentricity means this one it is eccentricity eccentricity means from neutral axis to the center of this cable wire that is eccentricity so eccentricity is equal to 500 minus this 90 so it will be a you will get the eccentricity. So how much this one? Tell me. What is 10 mm. Okay. 410 mm. So now we need to find out the moment of inertia. Okay. You will not get directly section models. Okay. So first of all, you calculate the moment of inertia so how you calculate moment of inertia for that so first of all you consider this one as a block so this total i section okay so consider this one it is block 
okay so what is moment of inertia this for block means total this consider rectangular section okay so i is equal to i is equal to i is equal to this width it is 500 500 500 into 500 into so overall depth how much it is overall depth of beam it is 1000 1000 cube 1000 cube 1000 cube divided by 12 1000 cube divided by 12 then next the next minus 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 so this h area just do this h area this area okay ye deduct karna hai usko okay so you deduct from this h area okay this area whatever i ha h layer this area should be deduct okay so this it is two section that's why directly you can write here in bracket 2 into 2 into so how much this distance we have we need to find out this distance so how much this 500 minus this 150 divided by 2 so it is 175 mm so 175 175 into 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 d it is how much 600 okay 600 cube divided by 12 600 cube divided by 10 so you will get this one moment of inertia for this i can symmetrical i section okay anybody out out here now tell me how much moment of inertia. Just do the calculation. I is equal to. Tell me how much. 500 into thousand cube divided by 4.166 into 10 raised to 10 raised to 10 minus 2 into 175 into 600 cube divided by 12. Tell me how much it is. Anybody have got answer? Student? 3.53 into 10 to 10. Yes, 3 point. Yes, it is 3.53 into the 10 raised to the power how much 10 now 10 to the power 10 mm raised to 4 okay so this one it is moment of inertia now find out section modulus z is equal to z is equal to so i by y z is equal to i by y z is equal to i by y we will get the section modulus for that i by y 
so y bar it is 500 3.53 into 10 to the power 10 divided by y bar it is 500 so it will be 70 point Seventy point six into ten raised to six. Correct. Yes, sir. So Z is equal to seventy into seventy point six into the ten power of six. Six. Ten or six mm cube. Okay. Okay. So you got the section model. Okay. So now find out the self weight of beam. Self weight of beam. So now find out the self weight of beam. So how we'll calculate self weight of beam? Self weight of beam. So you'll get self weight of beam students. Cross section area of beam. So cross section area of beam we are already calculated. It is 290 into 10 raised to 3. 290 into 10 raised to 3. It is mm square. So convert it is in meter square. So how we will convert it is in meter square? Multiply by 10 raised to minus 6. Why minus 6? Why minus 6? 1 divided by 1000. We want to convert if it is mm to meter, we divide by 1000. So here we do the twice time. Okay. Twice time. Why twice time? Because mm square. That's why we are done twice time. Okay. Into. So unit weight of concrete it is 25 kilonewton per meter cube. 25. So we'll get the self weight of beam. Tell me how much self weight of beam. 290 into 10 raised to 3 into 10 raised to minus 6 into 25. How much? 7.25 kilonewton per meter. This is a self weight of beam. Everyone now got same answer? This one it is self weight of beam. Correct? Student? Yes, sir. Yes. Now, span of beam is given 16 meter. This one it is span of beam, it is given 16 meter. Okay. Span of beam, it is given 16 meter. So, we need to find out the stresses for stresses at transfer at, at, as well as service loads. At transfer as well as at service loads. So that's why we need to find out the bending moment for dead load as well as for due to total loading. Okay. So first of all, you find out the bending moment due to dead load. So we just can note down it is MD means moment due to dead load. And the beam it is simply supported. The maximum bending moment it is WL square by 8. WL square by 8. Okay. So this W it is we just donate it is WD means weight due, weight due to dead load. Okay. So 7.25, 7.25, 7 and span it is 16 meter, 16 square divided by 8. Okay. 16 square divided by 8. So this one it is bending moment due to dead load. Bending moment due to dead load. Okay. So how much this one? 17.25 into 8 square. Sorry, 16 square divided by 8. So it will be how much? 232. Yes, 232 kilonewton meter. 232 kilonewton meter. Okay. 
now find out bending moment due to bending moment due to superimposed load okay bending moment due to superimposed load otherwise find out bending moment due to superimposed load plus dead load okay here we can donate yeah bending moment due to total loading total loading means dead load plus self weight dead load plus self weight here you can write total load otherwise first you can write here total load on span okay total load on span is equal to total load on span is equal to how much first of all 7.25 plus 15 kN per meter okay so superimposed load it is given here in example they are mentioned it is 15 kN meter okay so how much total load 7.25 plus 15 1.25 plus 15 so it is 22. 22.22.25 kilo newton per meter okay so this one it is total load on span okay so now find out moment due to total loading that is you indicates m m is equal to m is equal to wl square by 8 m is equal to W L square by eight. Okay, M is equal to W L square by eight. W twenty two point two five. Twenty two point two five. L it is sixteen square. L it is sixteen square divided by eight. So M indicates it is total moment. Otherwise, you you can put here M T means moment due to total loading. Okay, so here you can write M T moment due to total loading. Okay, just tell me how much this one M T is equal to twenty two point two five into sixteen square divided by eight. How much? One two. Seven one two. Correct. Seven one two kilonewton meter. Correct. Okay. Yes. Now, yes. Now for case one, first case. I know. Case one. Case one. Stresses at transfer. Stresses at transfer. Transfer. Stresses at transfer means what we are considering here. Pre stress plus self weight. Stress plus plus self weight. Okay. Stress plus self weight of beam. Self weight. Okay. At transport condition. Okay. So that's why I done here. Sigma top is equal to sigma top is equal to P by A. P by A. P by A, P by A, due to pre-stressing force, bending occurs. Hogging type of bend occurs. So at the top it is tension. That's why it is minus P by J, P by J, due to self-weight sagging type of bend occur. At the top it is compression. That's why it is plus M D by J. 
एम डी बाई जेड एम डी बाई जेड ओके एम डी बाई जेड ओके एम डी बाई जेड सो पी प्रिस्टेसिंग फोर्स इट इज गिवन सो मच प्रिस्टेसिंग वन टू फाइव जीरो किलो न्यूटन कन्वर्ट इट इज इन न्यूटन इट इज वन टू फाइव जीरो इंटू टेन रेस्ट टू द थ्री टेन रेस्ट टू द थ्री न्यूटन डिवाइडेड बाय डिवाइडेड बाय क्रॉस सेक्शन एरिया ऑफ बीम इट इज हाउ मच क्रॉस सेक्शन ऑफ बीम इट इज पावर थ्री इंटूट्रिसिटी हाउ मच इंट्रिसिटी Eccentricity of beam. Four hundred ten mm. Eccentricity of beam four hundred ten. Again divided by section modulus. Section modulus. Section modulus. Section modulus. Section modulus how much? Seventy point seventy point six into ten raised to the power ten raised to the power six na six okay. So next find out plus m d by j. 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 So m d it is moment due to dead load. Moment due to dead load. Moment due to dead load. So moment due to dead load, how much? Two thirty two. Two thirty two into ten raised to ten raised to the six kilo newton meter. It is given. So convert it is in newton mm divided by divided by divided by seventy point six into Ten raised to the power six. Okay, okay. So we'll get it is sigma top is equal to how much we'll get sigma top zero point three three seven. Sigma top is equal to. Zero point three. Correct. Zero point three four. How much? Zero point three seven seven. Ah, student. Zero point three three seven. Three seven. Okay. Newton per mm square. Okay. So same. Find out sigma bottom. Sigma bottoms. Sigma b is equal to. Sigma b is equal to write down formula p by a p by a direct stress. Then at the bottom it is compression. So p by j due to pressing force p by j. Then minus m d by j. 
due to self weight at the bottom it is tens md by z okay um due to is due to how much sigma bottom will get put same value here tell me sigma bottom how much Eight point two eight. Get it is eight point. Correct. Eight point two eight newton per mm square. Newton per mm square. Okay. So now find out for case two. Find out for case two. Find out for. Case two. Stresses at service. Stresses at service. Service means here we are considering pre-stress plus pre-stress plus self-weight. self weight plus lie load self weight self weight plus lie load okay lie load lie load means it is super imposed load okay so sigma t is equal to top stresses for service condition it is p by a P by A, P by A minus P by Z plus P by Z plus plus M T by Z. M T means moment due to total loading. Total loading means self weight plus superimposed load of lie load. Okay. Tell me how much this will be. So here only remaining value value are all all are same. Only difference here empty moment due to total loading. Okay, and you can consider the loss ratio also here. That is k. Loss ratio is point eight. Just here put loss ratio k. Okay. K value. Okay. So K it is loss ratio it is given point eight two point eight two into pre-stressing force it is one two five zero into ten raised to the power three ten raised to power three divided by cross-sectional area of beam it is. Two ninety into ten to the power three. Okay, then plus sorry minus again loss ratio point eight two into pre-stressing force one two five zero. One two five zero into the ten raised to the power three into eccentricity. It is. I will write here. What am eccentricity? It is four one zero. Okay, four one zero divided by z. Z it is. Seventy point six into ten raised to three. Seventy point six into ten raised to three. Mm cube. Okay. Mm cube. Then plus moment due to total loading. 
moment due to total loading how much moment due to total loading we are calculated student seven one two seven one two yes seven one two seven one two into ten to the six kilo newton it is converted it is in newton mm divided by divided by section modulus it is again 70.6 into the 10 raised to power section modulus 10 raised to the power 6 this one it is also power 6 huh? this one this one it is also power 6 so now tell me sigma top how much so this value will get for case 2 7.65 7.65 newton per mm square For sigma bottom, same use only here. Empty by here. 